eager for thrills and excitement, the King and Odie had taken up a new sport, skydiving. Almost every day when the weather was bright and clear, the King and Odie would take off in the royal plane and soar high into the wild blue yonder. Once up in the sky, they would leap from the plane and practice the delicate and dangerous sport of skydiving. Sometimes they would dive together. Sometimes they would soar like birds. Other times they would plummet wildly to earth in a daring delayed action jump. Then, one afternoon at the palace... Are you ready, sire? It's a fine day for jumping. Oh, confound it, I'm stuck with all these affairs of state. You go ahead, Odie. Oh, no, sire. I shall stay by your side and help with these important affairs. Nonsense! You go ahead and enjoy yourself. Now that's a royal command. Little did the king know the far-reaching effects of his well-intended command. For on Odie's very first jump, he was caught by a fierce crosswind and blown far off his target. So far off, in fact, that he found himself landing in the wild, remote, inaccessible crater of an extinct volcano. Quickly, he sized up the situation. I cannot get out of here alone. I must be calm and wait for help to arrive. And help was on its way. The pilot of the plane had spotted Odie's predicament and radioed back to the palace. When the king got the message, he took immediate action. Warm up the royal helicopter. We'll rescue him at once. But, Your Majesty, the helicopter is broken and can't be fixed for several days. Confound it, this is terrible. I'll have to parachute in there and keep him company until they fix the helicopter. Meanwhile, at the dark and dismal mansion of Mr. Mad, three sinister figures heard the news over the radio. And our heroic king is planning to parachute into the remote, inaccessible crater of the extinct volcano to give aid and comfort to Odi Coloni. <laughs> I've got him. I've got him at last. Alone. Without guards. As soon as he lands in that crater, I shall snatch him out and put him in my collection. Yeah, but uh, how are you going to, like, uh, get him out if you can't get in? <laughs> you are going in and bring him out. Oh, I can see it all now. He will struggle, but between the two of you and my secret weapon, there should be no problem. Ah, but that'll take weeks to hike in there. Look, Mad, Itch here and I have a hideout in that kind of wilderness, see? And I know what I'm talking about, see? Yeah, it's like uh, wild, remote, and inaccessible. Silence! You would dare to tell Mr. Mad what cannot be done? Okay, okay, don't get mad, man. You two are going to parachute in. Uh, who, me? Uh, jump? Like into thin air? Hey, uh, tell him, Big. That's like Ensville, uh, unless he's got some really way out magic. Ah, this is Biggie talking, see? Uh, Silence! Would you rather jump from the plane or be pushed into the room? Well, jump, jump well, jump. jump. Good. Now, here's the mad plan. What is Mr. Mad's plan? Will he at last get the king for his collection? We'll find out in our next episode. Go and catch a falling king.